getting answers from all across Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at 10. And Oliver's grandmother is furious tonight after learning a sex offender is living feet away from her grandson's elementary school. Tonight she wants something done about it, but has a law really been broken? And who dictates where sex offenders can live. CBS 13's Sharon Roger is getting answers for us tonight live in Olivehurst. Sharon? Yeah, Tony Majoring, that's the thing. There's no clear cut answer that applies to all sex offenders. It depends on a number of factors how long ago it happened, what type of offense it was. But for this grandmother living in this neighborhood, when it comes to her family, it's just too close for comfort. I'm concerned about um, people not being aware of the sex offenders in the area. Robin Gorham says she was stunned to find out how many sex offenders live just down the street from Cedar Lane Elementary in Olivehurst, where her grandson is set to attend. But there's parents around here, and I don't think they're aware of what's right in our neighborhood. A quick search on the Megan's Law website shows there are 11 sex offenders living within three fourths of a mile from the school. Gorham is particularly concerned about one offender convicted of lewd acts with a child 14 or 15 years old whose home is registered. Registered just feet away from the school's fence. The fence is like in between the driveway and the kids playing. So anybody could like say hi and put their hand through the fence. I always thought that it was a law that they could not register their address so close to the school, whether they're living there or not. So is there a law that keeps sex offenders at a certain distance from schools? There is no one general applicable law. OK, under either Jessica's law or Megan's law in California that applies to every uh, sex offender in California the same way. Reichel says because there are varying degrees of sex offenders, each offender's restrictions are decided on a case by case basis and solely by their parole or probation officer. A sex offender cannot live by a school specifically if they, the probation or parole officer determines that they cannot. Those officers can impose all sorts of restrictions about contact with children, stay away from children, how far from children. But in this case in question, the offender was convicted in 2010, no longer under parole. And Reichel says he's not breaking any laws. There really isn't a way for a city to prevent them from residing wherever they want as long as they're obeying the laws. And so And Reichel says, of course, schools are here to protect children, but they really have no control over where these sex offenders live. He advises parents to use the resources online on Megan's Law to find out where the sex offenders are. If you see a violation of parole, you can always contact their parole officer. Interesting report tonight. Shirin, thank you.